big mysteries of the Australian bush is the reported sightings of big cats, panther-looking creatures that seem to never be caught, so the mystery deepens. And with urban sprawl encroaching on rural land, the sightings in recent years have become more prominent, the latest on the outskirts of Melbourne. So our Georgia Main joined the hunt. Broad daylight and this cat-like creature stalks through the bush. At a safe distance, a camera records its every move. Incredible pictures like this evidence big cats are living in the nation's forests. Andrew Bly knows the site all too well. He saw something similar lurking in the bush 70 kilometres out of Melbourne. It was a big black animal, um, quite low slung, fairly heavy built. And uh, I watched it walking across through here. It went over the side of the road, crossed the road, and wandered off down further out of my sight. We saw something about 10 years ago, and it was very, very similar to this. Andrew's sighting is the talk of Don Valley. Population, 6,000. We were travelling along the road very early in the morning, you know, um, probably 4 o'clock in the morning, and we just, it just crossed the road in front of us. Um, it was like a big black panther and just went into the bush with a long tail. It was, um, you know, three feet high. Wow. Yeah, so there was no way it was a cat. It was definitely a panther. Very silly. Very silly. My sister has, and she said it looked like a big black panther. I think it's a bit of a myth. All I know is that I saw something back in about 1990 that was too big to be a domestic cat, and it certainly wasn't a dog. And your eyesight's good? <laughs> you got perfect yeah, vision? Yeah, no, I usually see all right. I don't know what it was. I've heard the big cat theory. I don't really subscribe to it. Did you think to, to try and take a photo when you saw it? Yeah, after. Um, yeah, afterwards I thought about it a lot. Would have been good to get a photo of that. For years there's been reported sightings of big black cats in the Australian bush. Likened to a panther or puma, no one has ever caught one and few have had a camera handy when they've been spotted. I thought it was a pig at first, but then when it moved I realised it was a cat. This video was taken at Lake Windermere near Mudgee in New South Wales. But the sightings span across four states, including the Yarra Valley and Gippsland regions in Victoria, the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, in southeast Queensland, even Albany in Western Australia. According to a national big cat database starting nearly 11 years ago, there have been 437 sightings so far. It was five foot seven inches and its back was up to my hip height. The cat did a spectacular leap over the guardrail, three metres off the ground. It was the size of a jaguar with the speed of a leopard. There were three very large paw prints left in soft soil near our sheds, at least 10 centimetres across. I have dogs and they don't make prints anything like these. Last few years, we've had dozens of stock kill reports that we've investigated. We've run our material past um, experts from overseas who have um, adamant that it g gives all the appearance of big cat kills. Simon Townsend has been hunting big cats for 30 years. He spotted his first at almost the same location as Andrew. I'm currently uh, saving material that could be used for DNA analysis, particularly the saliva of these potential predators, with the analysis actually producing for us a definitive result of what we're actually dealing with. Even governments are investigating the claims. The New South Wales Department of Primary Industries has been keeping a secret file on the creature for years. Their most recent report says that while there's no conclusive evidence of large black cats, they're keen to keep an eye on any sightings. I would probably think that it's um, just uh, large feral cats. So um, once they get out into the wild for a couple of, after a couple of generations, they actually get to about twice the size of your regular household cat. Um, and people aren't used to seeing cats that big. In 2005, deer hunter Kurt Engel shot this huge creature, keeping only its 60 centimetre tail. It just shot up and came towards me. The chest was very low to the ground and the legs ate like that. It really screwed in. DNA tests revealed it was 98% certain to be a feral cat. Well, I have never seen any feral cat, you know, being nearly two metres long. But Andrew is adamant that's not what he saw. Certainly not a feral cat or anything like that. It moved very steadily. Uh, there was no jerking or anything like that. It was a very fluid motion. Um, and it, it slid over the embankment. It wasn't this little fella here, was it? Wish it was. You'd be worth a fortune, Ruby. <laughs>
And believe it or not, even the Premier of New South Wales called for a formal investigation of the big cats back in 2008, saying there were too many people reporting sightings for the matter to be ignored. The mystery.